I am going to be letting go of this condo. I got this airway. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Love, what do you think of the space itself? It has a lot of potential. If you are maybe potentially renting out a condo in BGC or even Makati and you're willing to rent it out to me, maybe I'll look into rentals as well. So in 2023, I am running into a gigantic issue and the issue is the living arrangements. Now, as you guys could tell over the past few weeks of vlogging, I've been mainly on the road. Actually, since October last year, I've been traveling most of the time and I haven't really gotten an opportunity to enjoy the perks that come with living at the beautiful St. Moritz building here in BGC and also going through the entire thing with the breakup. Both Nelly and I own the place in St. Moritz. It seems to be a little bit easier for us to rent out the condo versus one of us living in it and we splitting up the cost. So today I am out on an adventure, on a journey to find a new place to live, a new place to call home and obviously in that process of me finding a place to stay, there's only one person that can actually help me out. The person, of course, is <laughs> my trusty <laughs> broker, Cyril. Cyril, how have you been? Doing great. <laughs> How's your 2023 started? It started right, and I think right now it will be the best year that I will have. Happy oh, New Year! <laughs> amazing, Happy New Year. So Cyril, we have a huge issue. Our place in St. Moritz is getting a little bit too big because we are mainly on the road traveling. So yeah. we need to find a new condo to stay in and also potentially a new place for Airbnb because the previous Airbnb has been very successful. So I think it's time to uh, get started uh, with number two. I'll help you find your new place and then new Airbnb. I got this airway. Perfect. <laughs> so yeah, being that we're traveling so much, I really want to have a home that I can live in, but also that I can rent out when I'm on the road, when I'm traveling. Being that the St. Moritz is a very high level property, they don't allow short term rentals. So it is a fantastic place to live. It's a really beautiful condo and I love it a lot, but I need a little bit more flexibility and that's what we're going to be looking for today. First unit that we're looking at here is actually in St. Mark where we have an Airbnb already. This is a studio unit. How many square meters? Uh, 40 square meters. 40 square meters. So it is a, it has a very, very beautiful bathroom over here. If you've been watching the other vlogs where we started our Airbnb, you'll know just how easy it is to make that uh, bathroom look really, really beautiful. And also the way we furnished the other studio. It's so comfortable. I love staying in the Airbnb unit. Uh, actually, if you want to book that Airbnb unit, there's a link in the description box down below so you can check it out. But that place is so comfortable to live in. And I think I pretty much could do something similar in this unit, maybe a little bit different from the color schemes. Love, what do you think of the space itself? It has a lot of potential. It is big enough, especially since we don't stay a lot at home, especially uh, I'm thinking this year, we have a lot of travel plans and things that we discuss together. And uh, that includes us not being home most of the time this year. Yeah, so uh, this basically would be a great blank canvas to execute what we want to do. This place comes with a beautiful balcony with a sunset view and basically this space out here is very versatile. You can do a lot of things with it. And just as a reference, I'll show some clips of the Airbnb that we have on this same exact floor and how we decorated the balcony to make it a comfort wonderland. It is so, so cool. The kitchen is actually really nice and well equipped. We have the stove top, we have a range hood, basically everything that we need, just the rice cooker there in the corner and we're good to go. Because I mean, we have a massive kitchen in St. Moritz and we use the oven so seldom. Probably what I would do is extend the countertop a little bit, have a, a fridge underneath the countertop and then the coffee machine here, something like that. Definitely would want to do a very minimalist and clean design for the furniture in here. Yeah something I want to do here is to get rid of dining tables. Yes. Because it's the, the, it would consume so much space, I would rather have a bar counter. Yes, a bar counter. A bar counter maybe that is a very there. good idea. Very good idea. Okay, so this would be more the budget idea, very minimalist and very, very focused on Airbnb. And now we're going to go to another property that is a little bit more tempting. By the way, uh, if anybody wants to get a condo here in BGC, McKinley yeah. West, Uptown, you're the person to contact, right? Yes. You can message me 
reach me anytime. Oh, perfect. So we'll put the contact details yeah. in the description box down below. Any questions you have about living in BGC, condos in BGC, Sarah is the right person. Shall we go to the next spot? Yes. And what a beautiful evening in BGC tonight. Just check out uh, how lovely the view is right now. This must be my favorite time of the day when the, the big top buildings back here start to light up. It's really a nice atmosphere. So we did the viewing of the second condo, but I did end up filming, but I don't actually want to show it in this vlog. I might show it in another vlog because I'm very interested in that property and I don't want somebody buying it out from under my feet because what I'm publishing today, I actually just filmed this vlog today as you are seeing it. But what I did want to share with you guys is, as you could tell by the vlog, I am going to be letting go of this condo in a sense that I am looking to rent it out to potentially one of you guys or anybody currently looking for a condo in BGC. This place has been a phenomenal place to stay and I really love being here. It's so calm and quiet as you can tell. The location is just perfect because it's just outside BGC. You're still in BGC but you're like on the outskirts of it but you walk a few minutes and you at high street it's it's great i love this place but as mentioned in this vlog because of traveling it just is becoming unreasonable to stay in such a big luxurious place so if anybody's interested please reach out to me i put an email address in the description box down below if you're interested in renting this place please do reach out let's see what we can arrange but just in case you don't know this condo i'll put in a few clips right now so you can see what you would be getting if you rent this place I briefly also thought about potentially selling this condo but it just doesn't make sense because uh, this is a really fantastic investment just like all the other condos in BGC and McKinley West and since buying this place less than two years ago uh, it has appreciated by more than 50,000 pesos per square meter which is crazy such a good return really happy about that it was such a good decision to buy a property here in the Philippines and I'm really I couldn't be happier so yes if you are in the market for a condo now is actually the time to get started Tyrell's details are in the description box down below send an email if you have any questions reach out to her she's really good at organizing all this stuff and I only trust her with condo purchases if you are maybe potentially renting out a condo in BGC or or even Makati and you're willing to rent it out to me maybe I'll look into rentals as well mm -hmm. very important is I have to be able to put it on Airbnb when I'm traveling so that's just like a side note but yeah if you have a place that you're looking to rent out BGC or Makati reach out to me I'll probably be buying a condo anyway just because it's a, a good investment but yeah let's see what the future brings <laughs> 